Tom Notch to lads. Better get Seamus here, and and welcome to this brand new series that I am going to call RDR2 Horse and Facts. Now this series is where I'll be reading up on the breeds of the horses that are in Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, so that uh, you guys can actually learn about the horse that you have in the game, and like its history, like its size, its characteristics, and, and these breeds... Uh, well, most of the breeds that are in the game, well, at least I think all of them actually exist in real life. So, on this first one that I'm about to do is the Breton, which is one of the horses that I have. So, so I guys, I'm going to start the series off with the Breton. So, I'm now, so I'm now on Wikipedia, and, and let's get into it. The Breton is a breed of draft horse. It was developed in Brittany, a province in northwest France. From native ancestral stock dating back thousands of years, the Breton was created through the crossbreeding of many different European and Oriental breeds. In 1909, a stud book was created, and in 1951, it was officially closed. The breed is often chestnut in color, and is strong and muscular. There are three distinct subtypes of the Breton, each coming from a different uh, area of Brittany. The Colray Breton is the smallest type, and is generally used for light drafting and under saddle work. The posterior Breton is used for a harness and light farm work. The heavy draft Breton is the largest subtype and is generally used for the hardest draft work. This horse breed has been used in military, draft, and agricultural capacities. It also has been used to improve and create many other draft breeds and, and to produce mules. Hmm. Breton horses are usually about 1.58 meters or 15.2 hands tall, but may range from 1.55 to 1.63 meters or 15.1 to 16 hands, depending on type. They usually have a chestnut uh, coat with, of, with often a fl flaxen mane and tail, but, but can also be bay, gray, or red or blue roan. Brentons have a well-proportioned head of medium volume with a straight profile and a strong, short neck well set into muscular withers. The shoulder is long and sloping, the chest broad and muscular, the back short uh, and wide, and the croup sloping, whatever that is. The legs are well feathered, but a short but powerful with broad joints and well-formed hooves. Subcategories. There are several types of... <laughs> there, uh, there are several subtypes of the Breton breed. Two, the uh, trade Breton and the posterior Breton are officially recognized, while others, such as the Corlais or, or Cheval de Corlais, and the and the center man Montagan or central mountain Breton or uh, are not older types that have disappeared include the Grand Breton and the Bitted Breton or Bitted de Eller, which I think that's French. Uh, let me know in the comments. The Corolla Breton is derived from crossbreeding native stock with the Arabian and thoroughbred and is considered the real descendant of the original Breton. It has the same general features as the draft type, but is smaller with a more, with a more dished face. It was used mainly for light draft work that required s speed and under saddle, but its numbers have been decreasing in recent years. The type is also known as the Cheval de Corlay, and is now extremely rare. It was also used in local races because of its speed, which it inherited from its Arabian and thoroughbred ancestors. Postier Brents were developed as a result of crossbreeding with the uh, Norfolk Trotter and the Hackney during the 19th century. This type is bred mainly in central Brittany, has a very attractive gait, is a good coach horse, and capable of light farm work. Its name uh, originates from its use in pulling mail coaches. The post year was used extensively by the French horse artillery 
and it has been described as a lighter version of the, of the Suffolk Punch draft breed from Great Britain. The heavy draft Breton is derived from an infusion of, of, Ar of Ardennes, or Ar Ardennese, or whatever you call it, and per chair in blood. It is very strong uh, relative to its size and has short but muscular legs. It is bred in the uh, northern coastal area of Brittany in Merliac. That's French. This type has absorbed another older type called the Grand Breton, a heavier horse that was used to improve many other draft breeds. The Center Montagan or Central Mountain Breton is a smaller draft type. Now, onto the history, which is actually my favorite part. Brents were originally bred for great strength and durability. Horses have been present in the Breton Mountains for thousands of years, but nobody knows how they first arrived. One theory is that they were brought to Europe during the Aryan migration from Asia over 4,000 years ago, while, while another school of thought has them describing from horses bred uh, by Celtic warriors before their conquest of Great Britain. The original ancestors of the Breton were a population of horses that lived in the Breton Mountains, possibly dis uh, descended from steppe horses ridden by Celts. During the Crusades, these mountain horses were crossed with Oriental horses to create a type known as the Bitted Breton. In the Middle Ages, the ancestral Breton horse was sought by military leaders Pardon, uh, partly because of its comfortable gait, which was said to be partway between a brisk trot and an amble, whatever that is. Due to its gait and the fact that it only stood about 1.4 meters or 13.3 hands high, it was nicknamed the Bitted uh, de Aller or Bitted Breton. Horses of other bloodlines brought back to Europe during the Crusades had a, a strong influence on the Breton and two types subsequently developed. The Somir was the common heavier type used uh, mainly as a pack horse and for farm and draft work. From the Somir, the Rausun was developed and was used mainly in wars and on long journeys. The Rasun's natural ambling gait made it popular as a lighter riding horse. The breed retained its mountain roots with its main stud, the National Provincial Stud, being located in the mountain country of Laganet. It was at this time that Arabian and thoroughbred blood was added to the breed, creating the Coralays, a subtype. From the Middle Ages until the early 1900s, the Breton was crossed with various horses, both native and foreign, including the Baulani, uh, Baulanes, uh, Percheron, and, and Ardennese breeds. In the 19th century, it was crossed a uh, bred with the uh, Norfolk Trotter, which resulted in a lighter weight type of Breton, the Posteer subtype. Today, the Breton is controlled by the Syndicate des Eleveurs of de Cheval Breton, an organization dating its a stud book to 1909 when it was created, with separate books for the heavy draft and posterior types. In 1912, the books were combined, but separate sections were used for each type. And, and in 1926, the sections were combined so that all types of Bretons are now registered together. Post-year Brents must be of documented post-year bloodstock and pass in-harness performance tests. In 1920, the decision was made to permit no new outside blood into the stud book, and in 1951, the stud book was officially closed to outside horses. Breton horses are only eligible to be registered if they were foaled in the present-day region of Brittany or in the lower Atlantic uh, Department, uh, formerly part of, Br of Brittany. Registered foals are branded with a cross uh, surmounting a splayed 
upturned V on the left side of the neck. Despite the, uh, the, despite the registration restrictions, breeding of the Breton horse has spread across France and around the world. Today in France, the Breton is bred mainly at studs in Lumbale Henot and parts of La Rocha sur Yon. Guys, this is actually really interesting. So, uh, this is part one. So, this is going to be part two. And this is part two. So, crossbreeding. For a time, there was a trend to increase the size of draft horse breeds to gain more power and bulk through crossbreeding. However, due to its endurance and gait, the Breton was an exception. Crossbreeding was shown to reduce the breed's unique qualities, and so in the 1930s, infusions of other blood were abandoned, and this decision led to the preservation of the breed's purity. Therefore, rather than being subject to crossbreeding itself, the Breton has instead been used to improve many other breeds. Buyers from France come from all over the world to buy Bretons for use in improving their native draft horses. The Breton had a significant influence on the Canadian horse. After members of the breed were sent to New France and Canada during the 17th century, they also have been used to create the Swiss Freiburger. <laughs> that actually sounds like the foreign version of the Big Mac. As well as other draft, <laughs> as well as other heavy draft breeds, Bretons were used. Uh, in India to produce mules and at the Saharanpur breeding farm were crossed with the Anglo-Arabian stallion Mystir to produce carriage horses. In, in the 19th and early 20th centuries, Italian farmers attempted to use the Brabant to improve a, a local stock, but the offspring proved to be too heavy and slow for the lighter, more general draft work required. In the 1930s, the hispano Breton breed was developed in Spain by crossing imported Breton stallions with local mares. Today, the breed population is small, but has been noted by researchers for its rich, generic diversity. After World War II, a Breton stallion was used to improve the Sch Schelswig breed of Germany. And now, last but not least, the uses. The Breton uh, is used in many capacities due to the various subtypes of the breed. Smaller types can be used under saddle and for fast, light draft work, while larger types are ideal for heavy draft and agricultural work. They are also commonly used to improve other breeds through crossbreeding. Today, the breed is used as a draft horse on small farms and is also used to gather seaweed. It is also bred for meat production. Horse meat is a dietary a, a staple in many European countries including France, Belgium, Germany, and Switzerland. Guys, this is actually really fascinating. Like, I actually got to learn about these horses. Like, this is just amazing. I guys, I'm actually gonna I'll pull up a picture here of the Breton, because this horse is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so let me see if I can find a good one here. Okay, so, um, alright, so, uh, okay, uh, the, uh, uh, internet's being a bit of a bitch right now, but, uh, anyway, guys, that there is the Breton. Look how gorgeous that is. And I also love how it has a, a, like all that so-called feathers on his feet. Now, I actually have no idea uh, why the brand has hair on its, well, feet. Uh, I actually have no idea. So, this guy's is actually interesting. And I guess I'm actually going to do another one. So, uh, so don't go anywhere, guys. But, if you all did enjoy this one... Then do not forget then then do not forget to always says smash the like button or drop a comment and also leave your suggestions on of what other horses that I should do uh, that are in Red Dead Redemption 2 in the comments below. 
and also get that notification bell on so that you won't miss a single video from me and videos just like this one and I will see you a lot next time. Peace out.